to an end. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Just got finished working and driving around. So, good morning. <laughs> One more time, yeah. One more time. One more time. God is good. God is time. Amen. So, welcome back, fam. I pray y'all good over there. I'm laughing at how people acting out here. <laughs> In this heat. Okay. Try to tell them you common sense. Be smart, you feel me? <laughs> good and another. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night to you. Good oh, and a natural one, yeah. Here we go. So, before we bake out here in the sun, in the front porch, just want to remind y'all God loves you, He woke you up to give you another gift to share with Him. I'm willing to give it back to him by reading his word to you. So we both get blessed, healed, and fulfilled. And most of all, equipped to do the will that God created us to do. And that's reconcile and seek and save those lives to him. You feel me? So, I'm doing that by reading his word to you so that I know you have hope in the one who died for us and was raised again and that's living and alive right now forevermore. And his name is Jesus Christ, almighty God, amen, who give us his Holy Spirit so that we can work out the way we live in this life, okay? about good versus evil, okay? So you got darkness versus light, okay? So I'm here to help you. If you don't like the help, hey, I still love you. I understand. Go do what you got to do. I'm still going to be here in Jesus' name, okay? Purpose for it, and we're going to do what, what we came to do. Reading out loud, grandma time. Good. Yeah, yeah. I started at 1210, according to this phone getting hot, so I'm trying to find a cool air space. I don't know if that's going to work either, so. But we working with the phone, man. Right? Got like 61% battery. So we good, we good. And if I get cut off, believe me, I'm going to get back to it again. Believe me, ain't nothing stopping it. Nothing, okay? All right, so, woke up with a bump right here. You probably can't see it up under the head. So, my face look a little disfigured. That, that's that big bump right there. <laughs> All right, so, anyway, reading out loud, Grandma Town, Exodus, okay? The book of Exodus, the second book, okay, of the Holy Bible. E X O D U X chapter five on this Saturday. Happy Shabbat to you. God bless. Pray y'all good, get it in with the Holy Spirit. Teaching y'all how to get along with each other. Okay? All right. So the title on page eighty eight in the gifted Holy Bible I was given by my mom or my grandma. Don't remember. Forgive me for that. So the title is say uh, on page eighty eight. Uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, okay, Pharaoh. Wow, it's spelled different. Defied the Lord and oppressed Israel. Wow, Pharaoh defied the Lord and oppressed Israel. Pharaoh. Well, it did say in the early scripture that uh, God was going to harden in his heart anyway. So, it was a verse 21. 
you know, one in the verse 21. Verse 21 somewhere. That he was going to hide in Pharaoh's heart. When Moses was going to show up and tell him, God said, do this, and you ain't doing it. Watch this. So we're going to pray and get into it. I'm excited to get to know what's going to happen. Because you don't be no oppressor expecting peace. Okay? So, but stop oppressing people. And let's pray. And just, uh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Just say thank you for waking me up one more time. <laughs> one more time. Whew, one more time. We thank you for this gift of today. Your mercy, forgiveness, your grace. Thank you for your wisdom and your knowledge to get us through. Thank you for teaching us how to get along and apply your wisdom and knowledge correctly in any given situation. I pray with this reading out loud that it will reach those who are listening and paying attention right in that spot where it's hurting them. So may your marvelous light of love give them hope, wake them up, Motivate them, inspire them to draw closely to Jesus, call on Jesus, and believe in their heart that they can change for the better. So as you surround them, we get to know who Jesus is before you arrive, Father. Lord, I pray this prayer and this reading out loud will do what it's meant to do, and that's heal, fulfill, satisfy, most of all build a close relationship with our Lord and Savior who keeps me going for the kingdom of righteousness, nothing less. And Lord, I thank you for the spiritual food, taking care of this natural well-being that those around me and those listening and paying attention will know you love just by you allowing me to do what you bless me to do right now. Pray and read your good word that is good news, that is more than just good, it's great, awesome, amazing how people sleep on something so simple that is yet needed the most. And that's love. Yeah. Only God is that. And He gives with no limitation. And Father, I just ask that we use it correctly. And that those who are lost will be found correctly in the incorrect mess. You are the Messiah, for Teach us to be good in not so good situation. And just give us the heart to forgive an unforgiving situation. You told us to pray one for another and help one another. Do good to one another. Be tender-hearted toward one another. Have peace toward one another. I pray we do just that, nothing less. And may you be glorified through the reading and the prayer of this word on this day, on this Saturday, according to the man-made calendar. But we know we want your divine time reading your word supernaturally. Thank you for the blessing you have bestowed in us, upon us, around us, and, uh, and to those who would appreciate it, may it fulfill and satisfy to the point they worship and praise forevermore. Not stop in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Cook! Oh, I'm already sweating, really. Cook! Oh, all right, here we go. Exodus chapter 5. Okay. Let's do this chapter five. Say, uh, Pharaoh defies the Lord and oppress Israel. That's the title <coughs> on page 88 in the black and brown. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, I read verse one. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in. 
comma, and told Pharaoh, comma, thus said the Lord, God of Israel, comma, let my people go, comma, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness, period. Verse 2, and Pharaoh said, comma, who is the Lord, comma, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? Question 1, I know not the Lord, comma, Neither will I let Israel go. Period. Verse 3. And they said, Comma, the God of the Hebrews has met with it. Comma, let us go, Comma. We pray thee, Comma. Three days journey into the death, Comma, and sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Semicolon. Lest he fall upon us with passion, Comma, or with the sword. Period. Verse 4, And the king of Egypt said unto them, comma, Wherefore do ye, comma, Moses and Aaron, comma, let the people from their work, question one, get you into your burden. P. Verse 5, And Pharaoh said, comma, Behold, comma, the people of the land now are many, comma, and ye make them rest from their burden. P. Verse 6, And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmark of the people, comma, and their office, comma, saying, comma, verse 7, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick, comma, as heretofore, colon, let them go and gather straw for themselves, period. Verse 8, And the tail of the brick Comma, which they did make heretofore, comma, ye shall lay upon them, semicolon, ye shall not diminish aught thereof, comma, for they be idle, semicolon. Therefore they cried, comma, saying, comma, let us go and sacrifice to our God, period. Verse 9, let there be, let, let their more work be laid upon the men. Comma, that they may labor therein, semicolon, and let them not regard vain words. Period. Verse 10. And the tax masters of the people went out, comma, and their office, comma, and they spake to the people, comma, saying, comma, thus saith Pharaoh, comma, I will not give you straw. Period. Verse 11. Go ye, comma, get you straw where ye can find it. Yet not aught of your work shall be diminished. Period. Verse 12. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather double instead of straw. Period. Verse 13. And the tax master hasted them, comma, saying, comma, fulfill your work, comma, your daily task, comma, as when they were struck. Period. Verse 14, and the officers of the children of Israel, comma, which Pharaoh Tachmach had set over them, comma, were beaten, comma, undermined, comma, wherefore, ye, wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making bread both yesterday and today, comma, as heretofore? Question one. Verse 15, then the officers, of the children of Israel came and cried unto Pharaoh, comma, saying, comma, Wherefore dealest thou thus with thy servant? Question mark. Verse 16. There is no straw given unto thy servant, comma, and they say to us, comma, Make bread, cutting, and, comma, be heard, comma, Thy servants are beaten, think of. But the fault is in thine own people. Period. Verse 17. But he said, Come, ye are idle, come, ye are idle, come. Therefore ye say, Come, let us go and do sacrifice to the Lord. Period. Verse 18. Go therefore now, come, and wait. Semicolon. For there shall no straw be given you. Come. Yet shall ye deliver the tale of bricks. Period. Verse 19. 
and the officers of the children of Israel did see that they were in evil case, comma, after it was said, comma, ye shall not minish art from your brick of your daily task, period. Verse 20, and they met Moses and Aaron, comma, who stood in the way, comma, as they came forth from Pharaoh, calling. Verse 21, and they say unto them, comma, the Lord look upon you, comma, and judge, because ye have made our Savior to be a boy in the eyes of Pharaoh, comma, and in the eyes of his third, comma, to put a sword in their hand to slay it. Period. Verse 22, And Moses returned unto the Lord, comma, and said, comma, Lord, comma, wherefore hast thou so evil entreated this people? Question one. Why is it that thou hast sent me? Question one. Verse 23, For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, comma, he hath done evil to this people. Simica, neither hast thou delivered thy people at all. Hey. Sorry for speaking. Yeah, I was mad. Excited. My bad, man. Why does the end of Exodus chapter 5 in the Holy Bible? Yeah. Wow. Man. So you got Pharaoh acting like he better than our creator. Like I said, and before you give up on drawing close to Jesus, get to know him, okay? And it hit his story, okay? Don't don't be listening to other people getting their cash, becoming ignorant of what you need. Because like I said, it's a mirror. And when you look in the mirror, you correct yourself right with God doing it. You can't deny it. You feel me? So God loves you. I pray you heal. Like, please, yeah. Pray and act with the Holy Spirit before you reread his word if you're not here. Please read it until you hear. Okay? That's what I do. Okay? I read. I meditate. I ask questions. I go in my secret place on my knees. Pray. Okay? Cause you want to know. Okay? He's going to let you know. Just be ready. Okay? That's what the equipment for the reading is for. So when you out here, you know how to read God's word in the physical. Even though you know it's spiritual, it's fair. Taking care of the food. All right, man. So I'm going to get at y'all. Try to get some moves in. Get some videos that. Get this phone to cool off. Charge it up. So we can get to work. Catch you when I see you. Be good. Peace. Good. And then that. Right. Stop killing each other. Amen to that. Amen to that. And then that.